Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be going over a build that is arguably, at least in my opinion, one of the strongest builds that you can take on Hazard 5 without any overclocks. This is also a build I'd recommend for like deep dives, and I'll be kind of showing you why. So this is going to be with Gunner, and this is going to be taking the Thunderhead Heavy Auto Cannon as our primary weapon, and the Coil Gun as our secondary. Now both these weapons are pretty good by themselves, they work really well in combination though. The Thunderhead Auto Cannon is amazing at crowd control, it's also really good just with the amount of ammo that you get. And I have it set up like this, this is kind of my standard go-to build for the Auto Cannon, same with some of the overclocks that I use with it as well. Um, the general idea of this one is just that we're going to be using it against crowds, and that's about it. We're going to use it on crowds and we're not going to run out of bullets, which is going to be very useful for our secondary, and I'll show you why in a little bit. So I'm going with extra ammo in tier 1, again, just to get that extra ammo. 660 rounds takes a very long time to run through, uh, not counting our 110 that we already have. Increased rate of fire, at least starting rate of fire. I just like this for the, uh, well, just for the startup, it feels a lot better, makes it more easy to kind of run and gun with this. Direct damage, but all of them are great in tier 3, more AoE, armor breaking can also be good here though, and then going with the suppressive fire in tier 5 to fear enemies, but these other two are also pretty good. So it's fairly flexible how you want to build, this is just the way that I enjoy building the auto cannon. Then for a secondary, we're going to be taking the coil gun, built like this, so I go with extra ammo, faster reloads, stun, Damage reduction on the charge, that one is very important, I would recommend that one. I'll show you why in just a little bit because it's kind of bugged at the moment. For anybody that's aware of Triple Tech Chambers bug, it works the same with the regular coil gun, but you have to do a few extra steps and I'll show you how to abuse that glitch. And then we have Electricity Trail in our tier 5. Again, these can be kind of switched around. You actually might not want to go with ammo with what I'm planning for this, so you could go with the faster charge speed or with the extra coil. You know what, let's just go with the extra charge speed anyway. Then I have the shield generator. This one I run for all duration. This is just so that I can have a long set shield, so if I need to push objectives, it's easier for me to do that. Zipline launchers, however you want to build it. I usually build it like this, but you can build it however you'd like. Uh, incinerary grenades, all the grenades are good though, so pick whichever one of those you'd like. And then for armor, this one is important for AS5, and I'll be kind of explaining why for each of these. Tier 1, you can pick whichever one you want. I like the bigger mineral bags, but all of them are okay. Then I go with healthy. Healthy will get you more health overall than going with the shield, and on something like Has 5 where enemies can crack your shield really easily, health is generally going to suit you better, because if you do start getting wailed on, you at least have some extra health so you can usually tank through an extra hit or two and this can also stack if you have red rock blaster as your beer so that's pretty nice as well as it stacks with all these health uh, add-ons too so be sure to fill out your suit as quick as you can because you'll at least get an extra 15 health overall plus this will get you another 20 health on top of that so win-win tier 3 whatever your tier 3 option is for gunner it's reactive armor and then in this tier I would really recommend breathing room this makes it so if you get down and you get picked up uh, whether you're doing it solo and Bosco picks you up or in a team and you get picked up, then you will have an extra three seconds to where you have invulnerability. So you can't be downed again within six seconds. That's very, very useful because if you're standing right next to a resupply, even if you don't have a resupplier, you can grab it before then, assuming you don't get knocked off of it. And if you do have a resupplier, you have plenty of time to grab it, which we are running that. This is a potential perk setup that you could run. I like taking Born Ready if I'm running the auto cannon. It's also really good with the coil gun. Thorns just keep little things off of us. Gunner may not need this, and you could switch it out for something like uh, Elemental Resistance. You could also go with another survivability perk like Veteran Depositor. Make it so you don't take as much damage when you're around Molly. And then Resupplier, I would highly recommend taking Resupplier. It's really good. You get pretty much all your health back every time you get a resupply. And you also just take those resupplies faster, so you don't, you're not sitting there the whole time. Dash to get out of bad situations, this is one I'd recommend on everybody except for Scout. It's not really needed on Scout, but it's really good on everyone else, and especially on Gunner. Then I'm going with Beastmaster, this is just because I'm doing solo. Usually if I was playing multiplayer, I would go with Field Medic or with Iron Will. Both of those are really good in the team setting. You can actually take both of them too if you want with Gunner. Usually I would say take the daily beer, but I'm running out of beer money, so I'm going to save it. This is Slayer Stout, that will really help though. Um, all of the beers will help you on just about every mission type. I'm going down to Point Extract and I'm taking Bosco, which I am running like this for anybody wondering. Faster Mining is really good on Point Extract missions or if you just plan on having Bosco mine stuff in general. But if you don't feel like you need it, you want an extra down, you can take that. We have Rockets, because that's our only option. Another down, so we have three downs in total. Cryo Missiles, so we can freeze flying things like 
breeders mostly. That's about all I really use it for. And then electric bullets so he can slow things down and deal a little bit extra damage. As well as it does help with other classes that have lightning synergy, but Gunner doesn't as far as I'm aware. So right away on a has five mission, you do want to kind of, well, look around, see if there is any immediate threats. If there is, take care of them. If there's not, then kind of proceed with whatever the mission is. So we're just going to use the auto cannon to pick off any of the bigger things. Wow, this charge is really fast. I don't usually use this. Now, with the fast charge, you pretty much have the damage reduction immediately. So if you need to, you can use it to potentially not get hurt too much, which is very useful. There's also another trick that I will show you as soon as I run out of bullets, because you need to run out of bullets in order to do this little trick. So let's just kind of use it on everything here and clear up all of this stuff. Okay, I'm going to run through all my bullets really fast. Apparently I hit a grunt up there. Sorry, Bosco. No, I guess just with the electricity. There we go, I got him. All right. So once you run out of bullets with the coil gun and you are taking the tier four with the defense enhancement, all you have to do to get this to work is start charging your gun. Just start holding it in and then let go of it. And you'll notice down in the middle of the screen, um, we have the shield going constantly. So this will give you 50% damage reduction from all sources. Pretty much the whole time while you have this until you reload and well, I guess resupply and then use the uh, coil gun once again to start firing. Now this is a problem because you don't have a secondary weapon, so you're kind of reliant on your primary. The auto cannon does make this for a, a decent loadout. You could also do this with the minigun. The minigun I think would be a little bit more well-rounded or even the hurricane. But we do have all the ammo with the auto cannon. And again, you don't need to do this right away. You don't just need to empty out your gun as soon as you can to get this to work. You can save it for later or save it for the more dangerous parts. That's usually what I tend to do uh, if I am running this particular setup. If you have triple tech chambers, which is a unstable overclock for the coil gun, you can just have this going all the time because it just works as soon as you use that particular overclock. I don't know why it's been bugged for the longest time, but this does make it arguably one of the easiest um, builds to use on Hazard 5. Because you have all this damage reduction, you have great crowd control with this. You also have the fear, which makes it so you have even more crowd control. Alright, Bosco. And then we're just gonna have Bosco get these ones. Hang on, Bosco, I want a Steve. Yes, Steve. Alright. And then if you end up starting to get overwhelmed like this and you think that it's still too bad, be sure to put down your shield and then just start killing as many things as possible. If it's still looking really rough after this, then at the end of your shield, be sure to use your dash so that you can potentially get away. Hey, Bosco. For us, it's, it's looking fine, though. We don't have very many left here. But just like always, I would recommend you get Nitra set up first. That is pretty important. Thank you, Bosco. Oh, we got another Orc. Well, we got another Steve, so we're fine. All right, I'm going to get my ammo back. Um, now, the moment you go to use the coil gun once again, after you had this uh, bug, exploit, whatever you want to call it, happen to you, then it no longer works. So... Keep that in mind if you wish to keep using it that way, but I mean, for me, I, I'm okay with giving it up right now. I want to have some long range and I want to be able to use both my weapons. So again, and you can actually just use this to charge up if you think you're going to take some damage and then just pick X cancel it. You won't use up any ammo that way either. I think that's really how this should work if you want to have some sort of bug rather than the way that it does work. Like to where you can still kind of do something like that, because you can also do that with the auto cannon. Where if you have full rate of fire and you say like jump off of a hill or something, like you can have this just to prevent some fall damage. So that way you're not taking too much. That's pretty useful and that's usually what I use it for. Well, I've got one crystal, Bosco's got another, and we'll need one more after that, as well as I managed to grab the Apocalypse Blooms too. Which, if you're trying to just beat a Has-5 mission for whatever reason, um, or you just want to run it quickly, you may not even need to go for the secondary. 
issues because sometimes they can be a bit of a pain. All right. Again, the fear coming in very handy here. Oh, we got another sword. Ah, that's okay. All right. Yeah, let's get down. Better be a little bit lower to deal with the Mac here, I think. We'll just keep moving around as we're, you know, maybe taking some pot shots at him. There we go. I just wanted to get rid of the try job. I don't think the others are as bad. Again, we're getting in too much trouble. Shield goes down. We can have Bosco help us. We just kind of move that a little bit closer. Just so that we can clear up this stuff. in here and we'll use our dash to get another little speed boost away <laughs> all right and again kind of get to a fairly safe position kind of do that to them <laughs> clear up the big threads like uh, acid spitters try jaws right away they would, they'll do a lot of damage. Be sure to clear up slashers, too. If they hit you, that can be bad. Now we need another Steve. Alright, well. Can clear up the acid spitter. The rest of this doesn't matter as much. Get one of those as a Steve. Yep. And we'll be using our power attack to clear them up a little bit better. All right. That horde is dealt with, but there's another one over there, so. Let the fire grenade kind of do that as we get this ready to go. We still have one more resupply, too. And I can call it... Oh, wait, no, I can't call it another one. That was one nitro off. All right, well, we shouldn't need it. Don't be like me. Be sure to check your nitro ahead of time. All right, and we'll just kind of run around here and wait. I'm thinking that the drop pod might end up in the ceiling, though, with <laughs> how this one is set up. Nope. This is also kind of why it's important to be moving around. You don't need to be moving around a lot. You can just form little circles or something, or just kind of in a little area. But it helps it so you're not getting hit by flying or spitting things as much. Makes it so it's more difficult for the web spitters, acid spitters, and Magterra to hit you. I guess menaces do. Spitballers it can kind of work against. Sometimes it doesn't so well though. Oh, there's a menace. <laughs> Speaking of which. Quite a few Praetorians. <laughs> Interesting. Thanks, Busco. Huh. Where is it? There it is. Alright. I don't think that hit it at all. <laughs> Bud inbound. Where are you, Drop Bud? Uh, you're not here, so I'm assuming you're gonna be up there. some red sugar along the way. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, <laughs> that's really not good. Alright. Well, 
Not too bad though. Alright. So, let's use the invulnerability that we got. Remember those six seconds? That means we don't have to worry right away about what we're doing. We've got a little bit of time. That's a new menace. That's a new acid spitter. Nope. Well, perfect time to use up our little exploit there. <laughs> We still can't tank through that with our current state, though. Alright, let's get onto this zip line. I think we can fear the menaces, so there's a good chance that one of those bullets scared it away. Just for the time being. Hmm. Alright. Yeah. Get over here. And out we go. Alright. Besides getting swarmed there at the end, that wasn't too bad. But, I mean, that can happen. Just try not to panic when that happens. Um, again, remember, once you get picked up, you have 6 seconds of invulnerability. If you have Iron Will, then you have 15 seconds of invulnerability one time. If you're going to run Iron Will, you might also want to run Vampire. That way you could potentially pick yourself up by just power attacking some random grunt nearby. And I think it's about 20 minutes in total. That one was kind of a weird cave layout. You could probably get it done a lot quicker if it was more of a standard one. Um, and usually you don't want point extracts to go beyond the 20 minute mark because otherwise bugs really start uh, swarming in. So this was, in my opinion, one of the easiest builds to do a Has 5 mission on. If you don't have any overclocks, you can also take this on a Has 4 mission. It'll work just fine. It'll work on Has 3, 2, 1, whatever. Whatever has difficulty, it should work just fine. And if you're worried about going to maybe Hazard 4, maybe Hazard 5, Try this build out, see if that helps a little bit, see if you can get more comfortable with it, and then try, you know, switching things out. Uh, maybe switch off of the, or the Reliance on Defense Enhancement. And then maybe try something like the Defense Resist with the Auto Cannon. If you still want to have something like that, um, that might be kind of a, um, I don't really want to say a crutch, but kind of, uh, kind of something to help you get going with. It's also uh, really good if you have something like uh, combat mobility and you take these to you, then you basically have this as well. But it's it's a lot more fair because you have a smaller magazine and this is only when you're fighting stuff, so only when you're shooting. So thank you guys so very much for watching this. I hope this video kind of helped you out, get maybe a build idea. Special thanks to the supporters of this channel. These are my members over here on YouTube, patrons over on Patreon. They get early access to videos just like this. And if you'd like to be a part of it, you can. There are links in the description. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'll talk to you next time. Bye bye.